So I'm, I'm super excited about now, right? I've been in technology and innovation and change, uh, um, you know, for, for decades. And it is the most intensive time from a business change wave meets technology change waves uh, ever, right? Everybody in B2B uh, is trying to become B2B to C. You know, that's been, been a train coming for 20 years. Uh, people who are in uh, make big honking things, want to sell those as managed services. That's been coming our way. That's starting to, to really uh, uh, um, grow and get mass. Um, sales is turning into experience. It has longitudinal experience uh, attached to that. Digital snackable commerce is starting to enter into all of those things. The, the underlying structure of the dark web is going to make the next three or four years of hacking uh, the worst we've ever seen. It'll make the last 10 years look like kindergarten. Um, and then you've got the fourth industrial revolution and um, uh, the technology change waves and 5G coming from the other side. So it is the biggest time for creative destruction uh, um, in, in my lifetime, right? And the, the folks out in Davos at the World Economic Forum referred to, referred to this as the fourth industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution is a very, very simple thing. Their, their viewpoint is no matter what you think about cloud and AR, VR and IoT and AI and big data and how much those have progressed in the last 10 years, which is, which is a lot, their view is, look, um, over the next five years, there's a quantum shift in those four technologies um, that's going to drive a... Uh, um, a thing we call the fourth industrial revolution, which remember the last three changed the world. So that's a really, really big statement. The big difference with the fourth industrial revolution is it's not going to take, you know, four or five decades. It's going to take six years. So that's coming, uh, uh, coming now layer on top of that. It's the easiest time in the world in, in world history to get a bunch of capital to form and start a company but also to scale it, um, including the hard bits of scaling, scaling your manufacturing, scaling your supply chain. You can almost rent all of those pieces. Go to a company like Prologis for the supply chain, Alibaba for manufacturing or 12 others. Um, uh, so, the, so as those four um, technologies, hockey stick, whether that's in terms of impact or value per unit dollar or pervasiveness, um, this this trend right this is the this is the 10 years looking back from today and we all get that these have grown so it seems kind of strange to say these are going to hockey stick after that much growth but trust me i'm close to i'm close to all of those technologies the next the next 5 years looks like this 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 hockey stick now imagine all of these things could live on a new network that's super fast can manage gigantic huge files and bandwidth has a really, really low latency, which is how quickly do you get back to the network, do your processing and get back to the uh, endpoint is a thousand X better for IOT density, 10 X better for IOT battery life, which changes the economics uh, of IOT. And it's not just a network, but has compute built in at the edge. So now you have a supercomputer in your back pocket, man, that'd create this crazy flywheel effect and new, uh, new platforms and new approaches. The thing I just said is literally the logic behind the fourth industrial revolution. The other thing I just said is I just described what a 5G network is. So it's the combination of those four technologies on a flywheel uh, of the new uh, network that that's basically going to change the world like the last three industrial uh, revolutions.